What attracted you to Dallas? I'll tell you that it was that I needed a job and yeah. I needed to make uh, some money. All right! Yeah. 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 Don't you think I care the way I look? Don't you care? Care for you, Emmy. You. I'm just, I'm just so happy that you're alive. Uh, I'm deformed. Uh, doesn't that matter? You are not deformed, Ellie. If you lost an arm or a leg, I'd suffer that loss with you, too. But it wouldn't change anything between us. It was a beautiful, sensitive, wonderful portrayal on her part, but also on yours. And, and I thought, I want to see Jim Davis jockeying more on the show. Well, thank you, Lita. I hope they, they do. Uh, what they, what the, what, of course, when this show started out, you know, it wasn't about uh, Miss Ellie's bisectomy. 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 <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. I do hate you for getting sick and for making me worry. Why me, Grandma? Why me? Why me, Lucy? Oh, Grandma. I'm just so scared. I don't want to go through what you went through. Lucy. Because it happened to me doesn't mean it's inevitable that you'll have it, too. But I don't want you to avoid regular examinations and learning about your own body just, just because you're frightened. Your fans who've seen you in previous performances, what do they say? They say, uh, you don't say very much. Why don't you, <laughs> why don't you ask your producer to please give you more dialogue? <laughs> He'll die. If you die, that's pretty much it. Leonard couldn't cut the camera. He actually couldn't get the words out at the end of when I died to even stop the filming. He went over and turned off the camera physically. Um, it was it was almost as if your real family member died. I'm sorry, Mama. I tried and I tried hard, but no more. Despite our differences, Bobby, you're still a yearling. We've only got each other. We've got to stick together. At the expense of everybody else? <laughs> Goodbye, Mama. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mama. I don't have all day. Now, come on. This will help your head. We were down drinking out of the bottle in bags with the, with the bag ladies in an alley, oh, and I know. loved it. It took two hours to get Sue Ellen ready, an hour in hair, an hour in makeup. So when I did the drunk scenes, it was 20 minutes. They put some goopy stuff in my hair and a little thing, blush, and off I went. Bottom of the bottle, sweetie. I am selling sex. Well, yes, of course. It's, uh, it's always been a big seller. The Valentine Girl. And let's call her that. The Valentine Girl should exude sex. The suggestion should be that she is, in every way, available. I 
on a day's evidence. I sincerely doubt that, darling. I am not going to any clinic. I am fine. I think you should, Sue Ellen. Just for a while, until you're better. Jay, I don't leave me here. You don't have any choice, Sue Ellen. You can't take care of your own life, much less the life of your child. And I can't trust you to keep your mouth shut when you've been drinking. We both have too many secrets for anybody to find out. I'll be careful, I promise you. Ah, damn right you will. Just till the child is born. Gentlemen, that's best for everybody, darling. Jay, I'll do... Jay, don't leave me here. Don't leave me here, Jay. I'll do anything you say. Anything. Oh. Oh. Just don't oh, leave me here, Jay. I'll do anything you say. You want to take anything. care of her now? Retarded children. Yeah, to varying degrees, but some can learn, each to their own potential, at their own pace. It was, it was wonderful. And letters. <laughs> oh. Letters would come from uh, families of Down syndrome kids or whatever, uh, thanking you. For, as it were, bringing it out in the open. We found out that we can adopt you. Really? Really? We can take you home tomorrow. Yes. This woman had a baby. It was unfortunately a Down syndrome no, baby. No, remember we lost that baby. You lost the but baby. But I adopted a deaf child. That, yes, yes, luckily. Yes. It was a dream. No. It was, it was somebody else's dream, wasn't it? <laughs> yes, it was yes. Bobby's. That was but the most unfortunate thing that Pam's happened. Dream. Pam's dream. <laughs> was it Pam's dream? For goodness <laughs> sake. You don't have to explain a thing to me. Afraid to do. I was sent to France and she was shipped back home. We said goodbye. Ray, I don't know how to put this. So I'll just spit it out. He's not your daddy. I am. I think probably the one that was so obvious, and it was not to me, but to Larry, was, hey, look, look, uh, you look just like Jim. Why don't we do uh, an illegitimate son story? I have a fourth son. We really pushed the envelope as far as the love scenes up in the hayloft and different things. And then, like, several seasons later, we find out that Steve, that Ray Krebs is actually Jock Ewing's son. So, oops, we can't show my love scenes then in, in, in syndication because it gets a little incestuous. You needed protection. You needed help against scum like Bobby Ewing. I, I've talked to the authorities about it. You're going to get the help. You're going to get the right treatment. There's only one cure for me, and that's to blow Bobby Ewing's head off. I can't let you do that. Now, damn it, put the gun down. Now, nobody's gonna come between us, Dad. Okay. Not anymore. All right. It's just you and me. Get the Ewing, they get them all. Drop the gun, Tony. Can't let me go. The police are outside. No way. They're outside. It's over. I, I begged them to let me bring you out. I don't want to see you get hurt. No, no, no. 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 Tommy, you let, need let the help. Go. Can't you see that? Let me go. Uh, maybe I should have known who you were when you came in the office the other day, but then, uh, I don't know, you didn't look exactly like I expected you to. Oh? No, you look kind of, uh, poised. Did you live there very long? Yes. 
A mother running out on her own two kids? I don't know how in the hell a woman can do that. Father. You didn't take any licorice. And I remembered you liked it. It was really you and me against the world. Right. I mean, because our daddy was undependable. We weren't sure about who our mother was. But why didn't you ever poison Bobby? Or poison Jail? What did she say? That it's you I really love. Maybe she just felt something, I don't know. Bobby, why are you telling me this? We're watching an episode of Dallas, and I looked over and my wife's doing this. She's looking really sad. And I said, what's the matter? She said, she saw something. I don't even know what she saw. But she said, I thought you only did that with me. If you still love me. If you have me, I want to marry you. We don't have to live at South Fork. It can be anywhere you want to, as long as we're together. Will you marry me again? Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, I want you so much. I thought I'd lost you forever. I love you. It was a wonderful, magical chemistry. And up until then, not only not America, but nor had the world ever seen a married couple that was hot. I mean, Pam and Bobby liked to have sex. And that was really unusual. I'm a homosexual, Bobby. Now, it would really help me if you could say something now. I will. As soon as I think of something to say, you're sort of taking me by surprise. Lucy was engaged to marry a young man who was gay and then came out of the closet. So I started out admiring her and I ended up loving her. And I thought she would change my life for me. Now, you know better than I what kind of a life she's had. I, I really don't want to hurt her. If I'd have known it was going to end up like this, I never would have let it get started. <laughs> now, it's going to be messy, too. Because Bobby understands, but JR is furious, and he's not going to keep his mouth shut. It hurts so much. <laughs> I know. <laughs> when will it stop? For me, it was my favorite storyline for Lucy. And it was, you know, a topic that was never really dealt with on television before. To me, the best scene in Dallas history was after J.R. learned that the son, his son was his. It's a private moment between J.R. and 100 million people, you know, when he went into the bedroom and picked up the child. 